A major German paper reported on Sunday that the U.S. National Security Agency has stepped up its surveillance on senior German officials. This comes after the U.S. president ordered it to stop monitoring heads of states of close allies. The report has not been independently confirmed, but many Germans remain wary of U.S. surveillance. They know firsthand how state spying can damage lives. NHK World's NK Schroeder reports from Berlin. NSA, go away! NSA, go away! These Berlin NSA, citizens are united by their concerns over U.S. surveillance activities. They believe that if the U.S. spied on their leader Angela Merkel, then ordinary German citizens must also be under watch. I'm here because I believe the U.S. surveillance is unjustified. It's a violation of our rights. Anke Domscheit-Berg is a member of the Pan-European Pirate Party. The group demands transparency from governments and protection of citizens' privacy. Domscheit-Berg says the Snowden revelations brought back something she thought she had left behind. She was born and raised in communist East Germany. She joined a pro-democracy group in university and came under the close watch of the Stasi, East Germany's notorious secret service. She says her mail was often opened. I used to tear open my letters very messily, but you can see these have been cut very accurately. I would never have opened them this way. Domscheit-Berg obtained copies of Stasi internal documents through a right to know request following the reunification of East and West Germany. Her personal information was all there, and one stamp condemned her as a member of an anti-establishment group. I will never forget what it was like to be under surveillance. You never feel safe. You always feel watched. You feel like you can trust no one, regardless of who the person is. Domscheit Berg is warning of the risk to a free society when the state collects personal data. She says what the U.S. is doing in the name of fighting terrorism is turning into a fight against citizens. The aim of the Stasi was to gather as much information as possible about people in order to control them. We can say the same for what's happening today. She started an online petition to call on the European Parliament to investigate how far the U.S. spying extends and to strengthen the protection of personal data. More than 59,000 people have signed up so far. In the DDR, it was normal. East Germany was a totalitarian state. It may be no surprise they monitored people. But in free, democratic countries, the surveillance of citizens should not be the norm. It is not acceptable. Domscheit Berg says she and her fellow Germans have an obligation to tell people around the world that they can fight back, just as they once fought to bring down the Berlin Wall. Anke Schröder. NHK World, Berlin.